Let's look at the conclusion of the Task 2 essay in the writing module of IELTS now. Um, once again, the conclusion has a clear structure, just like the introduction and the main paragraphs. So let me begin by telling you what you actually write in your conclusion. And here it is. Um, so I'll show this up. Basically, there are actually two points. Um, you give your opinion. Your opinion is absolutely essential. And then you close with a suggestion. So that is all you need to do in your conclusion. Now, some people, and if you have studied academic writing, it's quite common for um, textbooks to suggest that you give a summary of your ideas in the conclusion. Now I'll talk about this at the end, but um, just in relation to IELTS, I would say that there is no need for a summary. I'll talk about why um, at the close of this session, and I would suggest that you simply suggest with stating your opinion and closing with a suggestion. All right, let's look at these two in a little bit more um, detail. So let's talk about the opinion first. Now, your opinion is already stated in the introduction. If you remember when I talk about thesis statements, I say that you should um, tell the reader about the content and give your opinion um, in a general sense. The difference in the introduction is that um, it, it is general, and in the conclusion, your opinion is more specific. And we'll talk about what a specific opinion actually means. I'll show you some examples in a minute. Um, with opinions, it means you must choose. So if you're talking about do you agree or disagree, you need to say which side are you on. Are you on the agree side or the disagree side? If, something, if the question asks if something is positive, make a choice. Do you think it's positive or do you think it's negative? However, there is some flexibility. Although you must choose, the flexibility is in how strong your opinion is. And I'd like to suggest that basically there are three different types of opinion. You can have a strong opinion, a middle way opinion, and a weak opinion. Strong, middle, or weak opinions. And of course, this is where your opinion gets more specific, um, where it specifically describes the strength of your belief. Now, you can see I've made a note here with middle and weak opinions, of course, are not 100%. So, because they're not 100%, you do need to include the conditions upon which you agree or support the development. And we'll look at some um, useful example language here. This will help you understand this in a bit more detail. So, strong opinions, this is language you can use. I completely support. I totally agree. This is an extremely positive development. Middle way opinions, we have, in general, I am in support of. I mainly agree. This is mostly a negative development. And then weak opinions, I partially support. I slightly agree. This is a positive development. Sorry, this is just a positive development. So this is the kind of language you can use. Now, let's look at an example in terms of a real IELTS question. So here is the question. In some countries, the average weight of people is increasing and their levels of health and fitness are decreasing. What do you think are the causes of these problems and what measures um, could be taken to solve them? So, um, in the conclusion, you want a strong um, or a weak or a medium opinion about um, this whole issue. So, let's look at the examples. The strong opinion might be like this. In my opinion, the falling health condition of people in developed countries is a serious concern. So, serious concern makes it uh, more specific here. Middle way opinion. I am of the opinion that citizens' deteriorating health is something we should worry about. 
However, there are solutions to correct the trend. And then an example of a weak opinion. I believe that we should indeed be worried about how healthy people are. On the other hand, it has to be acknowledged that a person is responsible for their own health. If someone wants to lose weight and become fit, they need to take action to improve their condition. So you can see that the middle way opinions and the weak opinions are a little bit longer because you need to provide the conditions there. Okay, let's um, move on. So that's talking about opinions. The second part of your um, conclusion is the suggestion. And the reason I do suggest, I give, say, it's better to close with a suggestion is because they are normally easy to do. So here's how to um, think of a suggestion. Firstly, think about what can be done about the problem or issue and simply write down your ideas about what can be done. Think about what, your, what are your suggestions about the suggestions. This is because sometimes your main paragraph two might be what, um, giving suggestions about a problem. So it might be suggestion one, suggestion two, action one, action two in your main paragraph. So then in your conclusion, you need to decide, well, um, what are the best suggestions from the ones I have discussed? Or which ones are the worst suggestions? Um, so similar to that is recommendations. And um, keep it short, only write one to two sentences maximum for, you, for your um, suggestion section. So once again, if your opinion is one to two sentences and your suggestion is one to two sentences, then your conclusion is going to be approximately four sentences in length. Okay, so let's look at an example of a suggestion in relation to a specific question. In some countries, the average weight of people is increasing and their levels of health and fitness are decreasing. What do you think are the causes of these problems and what measures could be taken to solve them? So let's imagine that um, main paragraph two, which, set, which answers this part, what measures could be taken to solve them. So you've got, um, let's say, number one, educate children about health and fitness. Number two, government media campaign to promote health and fitness. And then number three, stricter control of food industry to limit the production of unhealthy foods. So that is main paragraph two. Now, your conclusion would pick out one of those suggestions and comment on them. So you might have something like this. Of the three measures that have been considered above, I would suggest that the most important action to take is to educate children about taking control of their health. This policy would result in long-term benefits. Okay, so let's just um, look at a complete conclusion that includes the opinion and the suggestion. So here it would be about the health. I am of the opinion that citizens' deteriorating health is something we should worry about. However, there are solutions to correct the trend. Of the three measures that have been considered above, I would suggest that the most important action to take is to educate children about taking control of their health. This policy would result in long-term benefits. So there you go. That is a conclusion. It's nice, clear, to the point, and not too long. Now, just to finish this um, session, I did mention summaries. So I would suggest that you do not use summaries. You can, um, and sometimes they can work very well. But I'd like to just kind of identify you the risks of using a summary. The main risk is that you end up repeating the same ideas again. 
So um, the thing is, task two, the essay is short, and the examiner will remember what you have written in main paragraph one and main paragraph two, and you've already stated it. So really, in the conclusion, there's no point in just stating it again. Um, so yeah, number two is really, you've already covered the ideas. There's no point in repeating yourself. And then finally, remember you must paraphrase. If you want to include a summary, then you need to describe those main ideas in completely different language to um, what you have used in the previous paragraphs. So in conclusion, I would say stick with your opinion and your suggestion um, for the conclusion and you'll have a nice um, clear way of ending your essay. And that's it for this session. Um, hopefully um, you have watched all of the videos about the task two and you understand now um, how to construct each individual element of the task two essay question.